start talking about the design of the Ford GT, it's never just let's just sketch something cool. It's a celebration of material. It's a celebration of performance, of iconic style, of heritage, of the future of the company. And the role you play as a designer and a design team, bringing all these things together with a set of surfaces that are not just pleasing to look at, but deliver on all these, that's a pretty sizable challenge. It was, a, it was a really cool feeling to be able to be contributing to that, going back and forth, and really influencing some of the details of the car that your average guy may not notice, but they would notice it if it wasn't there. We designed the GT as a road car, but early on, it was very obvious that it'll make a heck of a GT racer. So we started to really think about making it a bit more hardcore, making it a little bit more suitable for competition. The aero configuration for trying to beat the best sports cars in the world is, is a very important factor. You know, because aero is, is, is a very important part of the car and uh, it has to be right for the car to work. The greatest part about carbon fiber is that it allows you almost infinite level of uh, possibilities when it comes to what the shape is. If you look the way the, the upper body is shaped, you know, you have the uh, the, the buttress in the quarter panel area and in the rear. That is a very unique aero feature, but it also, you know, it's, it's a styling feature too. It's one of those pieces that's been carefully designed in the wind tunnel. And the mechanical function of it, outside of physically tying the body panels together, is that it actually houses the intercooler discharge tube. It's a beautiful piece of sculpture, but at the same time, it actually performs a variety of functions. In a way, that's kind of what the whole car is about. There's nothing that's accidental on the car. And it's born out of honesty and performance and efficiency and celebrating everything that new GT is. Because we're just caretakers of this legend. We're going to be passing it off. And what we would like to do is make sure that whatever we pass off is worthy of little kids' posters 10 years from now, 15 years from now.